What's happening guys? Another episode of Cooking with Volk and don't we have a treat for you. Look where we are. Got the Lotus Caravan behind us. We're in this beautiful place. We're nice and camped up, ready to cook you guys a feed. And that ain't only the special part about this. We even got some Wagyu steak here and we're gonna make some Wagyu burgers. So that is how good this is. I'm gonna chop up some of this Wagyu steak. We're gonna mince it up for you. Uh, and then we're gonna get cooking. So let's get into it. Wagyu steaks. There's a New York steak there, obviously some Scotch fillet. Got a different uh, different Wagyu cuts there, you know, a bit of depth in the flavour in them steaks, which is gonna be good. So obviously we ain't always gonna have Wagyu steaks. So if you guys at home don't wanna do that, you're gonna have some meat and you wanna fatten it right up, you can always get some lamb fat, you can get some uh, beef fat, whatever you want, pork fat, whatever you want, just to really get that juicy. When you've got such good flavour in your steaks like this, a little bit of salt, and for me, cheese and the bun, and that's it. Well, I'm getting excited already, eh? Look at the fat. So as I was saying, another little trick uh, you can do with, is get whatever steak you want, uh, whatever meat, and then uh, just to fatten it up, chop up a bit of that, mince that through as well. You're laughing, and depending on uh, what fat you want as well, you can get some of the pork fat if you like that pork flavor, some lamb fat, Whatever it is, or just the beef, just because you want to juice it, up, juice it up and still have that uh, that flavour come through as well. All right, so that's chopped up, ready for the mincer. Look how good that looks. Now this is going to be the first time I've ever actually minced it up myself, so uh, looking forward to it. Let's give it a crack. So we're going to get some in there. Obviously, start to make sure I'm going the right way. We're gonna start going in here. Yeah, push that through. Oh, it's starting to come through now. Here we go. Just make sure I don't take my finger as well, yeah? That's <laughs> all right. Look at the color of that. All right, so. We've minced up some of that meat, and now we're just gonna make the patties. So I'm gonna make the patties. The beautiful thing about having such quality meat, you don't need barely anything. I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt when we cook it, and you're laughing. That's how easy this is, because again, I, want, I really do want the actual flavors from the meat coming through this burger. So I'm not gonna overpower it with all different uh, ingredients, like your pickles, tomatoes, onions, which I love on burgers. But for this one, I really want to get the, the flavour out of the, out of these patties because this burger is pretty much the patty. The quality is in that patty, so I want to make sure we, we're getting that flavour through there. So I'm just going to make nice, easy patties. Again, it's already minced up, perfect. You can do it however you want, all right? Look at that. Perfect patties. I'm actually going to make them a little bit thicker because I'm hungry. So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger like that. Beautiful. Look at the colour of this too, right? That's the colour you want. This is going to be juicy. And literally, going to season it as I chuck it on. So my secret ingredient, as I said, even when I'm cooking this, I'm going to get a little bit of lamb fat. I'm going to chuck that in. Ooh. Smell that. Woohoo! Laughing. There you go. Let's get it on there. That's the sound you want. Look at that, don't even need to add oil or nothing. Obviously got lamb fat. And then, don't be shy. There you go, that's it. I love my salt. Still gonna want a little bit medium as well. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of blood in there if I can. Oh yeah, smells good. There we go. Oh, nice and hot pan as well, that's what you want. That's the color you want it. So how good is this? Out here, Got my Lotus van, 
soaking up these beautiful views, sounds, the aroma of being out in the bush, the Lotus uh, outdoor kitchen, slide out kitchen. Ah, doesn't get any better than that. So the beautiful part about it is, so I'm gonna have a lot of that fat on the bun as well. So we'll get a bit more of that flavor going through. So that, the thing is, I want that a little bit more medium, so I'm gonna let that rest there quickly. Let's toast these bad boys up. So the good thing, uh, obviously toasting the, the buns as well, it softens it right up, get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a toast as well. And I get to soak up some of these uh, flavors that we already have on there. A quality patty like that, that's all we need. We don't need anything. Obviously you can add sauces and all that. It's still gonna be great, but let's enjoy that beautiful meat that we got. Get the bun, toast that up. See already softening up. You can see that really softening up. I'll soften up these bad boys too. Good, you get starting to get color. That's what we want, yeah? That's what we're looking for. Bit of color, bit of the, mmm, bit of the flavor as well. All right, there we go. Chuck them on. Nice and easy. Cheeseburgers, Wagyu, burgers, doesn't get much better than that. Out here, soaking up again, this beautiful spot we're in with our beautiful Lotus of Caravan. I told you we had a treat for you, and I hope we delivered. The boys were asking, like, you know, can you chuck on onions and, you know, tomato sauce? Obviously, it's gonna be beautiful like that. It's gonna be beautiful like this, but I remember I went with uh, Action Brunson, um, at Peter Luger's, I think it was, and they, they just made cheeseburgers like this, just with normal patties. And I was thinking maybe add something, but when the flavor that come through that meat was too good. Cooking with folk. <laughs> New York Claim City it. street style. Claim it. It's, it's ridiculous, nice, right? man. If you love your meat, that's all you need. You don't, you don't need anything more. Obviously, it's perfect with, with other ingredients, but I just really want people to enjoy the actual flavors from the Wagyu, so come in. I'll never say no to a nice burger. All right. Cheers, man. Cheers. Well, just a little cheeseburger. Very yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. All right. I want to just dig in this so I wasn't even going to give you an outro, but I'm going to have to. Thank you for tuning in. Wagyu Burgers out here. Beautiful. Load of caravans. It's all happening over here. We loving it. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to leave you. Sir.